All right, now that we've got our hardtail baits, how are we going to rig these? Well, we're going to start with your typical live bait rig, Dean. What we have here is a, a number seven wire leading material. You need something solid to keep the kingfish from biting through your leader. Yeah, they have sharp and teeth. As you noticed on the front here, I've got pinned down with seven wire is one of King Buster's chartreuse colored little stubbies. And what we're going to do is we've got a number two treble hook. You notice the front hook's just a little larger than a number four back hook because it's a little bit harder to hook these baits in the nose. And the kings don't usually notice the the hook up toward his nose, especially whenever you've got this king buster tagged down on that cover that hook. So then we take this back hook, we're gonna put it just below his lower fin there, right in the body. That's the stinger. That stinger hook. That way that's gonna be hidden from view when the king comes up to strike this bait. All right, and that one's going on a downrigger? Well, this first bait is, yeah. I like to put some color, either chartreuse or pink, down on the downrigger. It tends to bring in the bigger fish, and when you get down 30, 40 foot in the water column, versus the surface, usually there's more big fish that, in that area. So we're going to go down to about 50 foot to start with in the water column. So we're going to put a ribbon fish down and see if we can't keep him hooked up with four or five hooks. And you notice I've got a pink king buster on this particular rig, uh -huh. and we've got more hooks on it. We've got three number two trebles and one number four stinger back in the back. It's because we're going to pull a ribbon fish on here. And talk about teeth. Oh, yes. They have got some nasty teeth, so be careful not to put your finger on that. They're like a razor blade. You betcha. The next thing you're going to want to do, and a lot of people don't really realize this, all of us pro kingfishermen do it, is we cut off there these fins. That's the bigger one. Get him with it. Put his thumb on it just a little bit. Oh, it's good. Just, just pop it. Just pop the rod like that. There you go. You got to let him go. There you go. There you go. See, these are all tricks from the world master. I wouldn't say that I'm necessarily the world master. I've just caught a couple of bass. <laughs> yeah. Good fish right here, guys. It's a good one. Got color about 20 foot down. Oh, yeah, this is a good one. Woo, look at the size of that one. Baby, she's 40 or better. Woo, what a king. I'm going to try to save her rather than gaff her. Come on back here, Dean. We'll take this one in any tournament. Good start what fish. about that fish, baby? Bongo! How about that kingfish? Yeah! Well, we all take one of those, wouldn't we? Yeah! That's all a right, potential winner right there. Mars coming to you.